Think of each experience as a box. See yourself standing in front of a conveyor belt, like in a factory, right? And they have the conveyor belt where things come that where things come down the line to them, and then they they do what they need to do with it, and they send it to the next person, and then the other ones come in and they do they do it they do what they need to do with it, and they send it to the next person. You know how you could see it how it works. Okay, so now imagine you're standing in front of a conveyor belt, and this box is coming towards you, but instead of it moving on, the box stops. Right now, you it's up to you to open the box. It's first off, it's up to you to perceive it as a gift, not a threat. And how that happens is that you unconsciously assign these energies to these things because what you're putting in is what you're getting out. So if you've been trained to recognize everything as a threat, that's exactly what you will perceive it to be. And you will perceive it as such because you have unconsciously saturated with the energies that allows your perceptive lens to read it as a threat. So therefore, that's what you're going to do. So you don't want to do that. That's why I say... When you alter your perception, everything is happening for you. Nothing is happening to you. Okay, we got that. Now, here comes this box down the conveyor belt. It has stopped in front of you. Why? Because the universe is presenting you with gifts to make you aware of the fact that you're carrying things inside you that are preventing you from receiving higher vibrational experiences. Okay, good. Open the box. Boom. Guess what? Gifts, blessings, lessons, treasures, celestial offerings. This is amazing. It's up to you to take these lessons and apply them to your life and implement them to your journey, making you a better person. You know, what you don't want to do is take your feelings and emotions and tell you, tether yourself to past painful experiences. Because then you're not only existing in the past, but you're also lowering your vibration, which, will, which causes you to be susceptible to God knows what. And at the same time, you're blocking high vibrations because you're no longer a vibrational equivalent to it. So now we've learned we're going to stay in a high vibration. We're going to open that box of experiences. All these treasures are for me. I'm going to take what I need. I'm going to learn from all of it. Then I'm going to close that box. I'm going to release this experience and let it go down the line. And here comes the next one of a higher vibrational nature. And that's exactly how you should see experiences. What is the universe attempting to teach me through the energies of these experiences? Whatever you do in your life, that's exactly what's happening. The reason why people stay the same is because they don't have a perceptive lens high enough to perceive these things as gifts. They see them as hassles and complications and challenges and blockages and struggles because they're too busy feeling sorry for themselves and they're too busy entrenched in that victim mentality. That's why they can't see that the universe is attempting to teach them something amazing about themselves that through that self-realization will get them to awaken to the fact that they are their own worst enemy. That is the whole point of experiences. You're supposed to learn about yourself because these are teaching you things about yourself that are holding you back from receiving the dreams that you deserve and you desire. The universe is saying to you, you're asking for amazing things from me, but you are not in a space to not only receive them, but you're not an equivalent to transmit that energy to bring them to life. So you're asking me for something that I cannot give you because you're not offering me the proper frequency. In other words, let's say you want to buy a brand new Lamborghini for, I don't know, $450,000, but you only have $3,000. Do you think that Lamborghini dealership's going to let you roll that car off the showroom? There's no freaking way. And if you have shot credit and no money in the bank, they're not letting you take that car. That's exactly how the universe rolls. But unlike that Lamborghini dealership, the universe won't write you off and just dismiss you. God will not give up on you because God knows the potential you carry to do better and be better. That's why the universe is going to continue to send these experiences down that conveyor belt in the hope that you open up those boxes, get everything you need, make you a better person, build character, expand your perceptive lens, and raise your vibration and become an equivalent to a higher field of energy. That's it.